Well, joining me now is Adam Manning, who's a Hampshire-based lawyer specialising in personal uh, injury cases. Um, Mr Manning, I mean, a lot of people watching that will no doubt be quite surprised by those figures. I was surprised by those figures, certainly. I mean, do you think it's totally out of hand, that, that if, like the Prison Office Association is suggesting? I don't think it is, uh, Sally, to be honest with you. I think the position is that prisoners, when they're inside prison, of course, are serving a time of imprisonment for being convicted of a crime. Uh, and, of course, no one is suggesting that prisons ought to be run like five-star hotels. But the point remains that uh, when they are in a prison, the prison service has a responsibility to provide them with a reasonable live standard of living. And if they breach that duty of care, then the prisoner may have a claim against them. Uh, what I would say is that the prison service by no means is in the business of writing blank checks for people just because they've slipped and tripped. You've, I mean, you've dealt with some of the prisoners who've taken this sort of action, haven't you? Why do you think it's important for them to be able to take this action, though? I think it's important because prisoners must have equal rights to access to justice just like other citizens. Um, if they didn't, we would be very much back into the Victorian era where, for example, people could be slung in prison and just n not bothered with ever again. You, you have a news article, in fact, this evening about a prisoner in Hungary uh, where there's a lot of disquiet about the way that he's been treated. Indeed. We're about to hear about that just in a second. But, I mean, just to finish up, if I can, I mean, 20 years ago, there were hardly any of these cases. We have changed. The whole culture has changed. I think if we, lived in a, if we live in a more informed society where people have access to justice, it can only be a good thing. And, of course, it's not just about prisoners' rights. It's also about sexual discrimination, racial discrimination, uh, and freedom to have political freedom of expression. Adam Manning, thank you so much for joining us. Thank this you, Sally.